the, the key problem that Newton was trying to deal with when he discovered the binomial theorem was the question of how you expand something like 1 plus x to the half, for instance, where you have a fractional power there. And he did this by a very interesting method, uh, which was really a method of experimental or empirical discovery. He, it was a method of interpolation, really. He argued that 1 plus x to the half has to come somewhere between 1 plus x to the 0 and 1 plus x to the 1, because a half is between 0 and 1. I mean, this is a very intuitive idea, but actually it was a very powerful idea as well. And Newton could deal with 1 plus x to the 0 and 1 plus x to the 1. They're simple. And so he argued that um, the integrals of all these quantities must be related. And so he set off on a long process of numerical interpolation. Uh, a very long process, I mean, he spent a lot of time doing this, but he discovered his infinite series simply by working out lots and lots of numbers and looking at what worked. And then checking, once he discovered what he thought was a series for 1 plus x to the half, he would square it to make sure you got back to 1 plus x, which is what you're supposed to get back to. But you're squaring you're multiplying one infinite series by another infinite series. Modern mathematicians would be very cautious about doing this. Newton just went ahead. But the key thing I'm trying to say is that his discovery of the binomial theorem was an empirical discovery. It was not a mathematical theorem with a nice proof. The proof took about another 200 years to get right. Um, so it was, it was, people don't usually think of mathematics being done by experiment, but in this case it was an experimental discovery.